Hi again, fellow unlicensed thinkers. I was thinking about how we process information, and I've made videos about this before where um, we process all these quick emotions, all the things that we need immediately, we process in the limbic system. So those are going to be um, fear, anger, hate, all the things that you need to stay alive presently. So if something's coming at you, you aren't going to be benefited very much by falling in love with it, but is the survival of your species will definitely be benefited by you being angry and fearful. And so this limbic system processing, I think it actually goes a bit further than that. So I think we need to move things from the limbic system to the prefrontal cortex. And that of course happens with understanding. So we, we really can't hate something or be that angry at something if we understand it, because then we kind of, we, we gain more of an empathy for it. And again, empathy is going to be one of those slower processing things that's going to happen in the prefrontal cortex. So, um, I, I think this comes from Jordan Peterson, um, where if you're walking down a path and you see a snake and you jump, well, that's limbic system processing. But then a moment later, you realize that it was never a snake. It was a stick or a root or something like that. So it wasn't something to worry about, but you didn't process it as something to not worry about until later because you needed to save yourself from the snake first. And so that all happens within a moment. But I think the limbic system controls more of what we don't understand. So if we don't understand it, it remains at least partially processed by the limbic system. And that's why we have the, the hate, the fear, the anger of things is because they're still being processed as something we don't understand. We don't understand, is that a stick? Is that a snake? What is that? So we react negatively to it. We react in this, oh my God, I'm going to die kind of thing. And so once we understand it, once we have a better picture of it, then it moves from our limbic system to our prefrontal cortex. And in the prefrontal cortex, sure, we can dislike things, we can have a preference against things, but once we understand them, we don't have that limbic system processing anymore because we understand how the thing works. Uh, we understand how gravity works. So we, you know, don't have the same fear of a cliff or something like that. Um, when we do feel this, this fear, this hate, this anger towards something or someone, the easiest and most common thing to do is to justify that, that fear, hate, anger, um, all those negative emotions to justify them and allow that quick, easy processing of the limbic system to continue taking place because that's easy. It's, um, uh, it's inexpensive energetically because it, 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 it's fast. It doesn't put a lot of information into it. So um, when we feel these, we can take a moment and we can understand that the reason we are feeling these negative feelings, this hate, fear, and anger is because we haven't taken the time to understand whatever it is that we feel these emotions towards. So we haven't taken, we haven't moved it from limbic system processing to prefrontal cortex processing. Now, once we are able to move into that um, prefrontal cortex processing, it, it's a different time frame of things. Things are slower. It's different emotions. We can, we can understand. We might be able to appreciate why this happens, why this person is acting this way that they're acting, things like that. So like, I mean, an obvious example is someone who is a mass murderer. 
Well, we don't have to like them, but we can absolutely understand them and we can remove some of that fear around them and we can remove some of that hate around them. And now expand this to other people, maybe in different political groups, maybe in different social groups, maybe um, different uh, hierarchies within your work or something like that. So instead of hating these people down here or up here, you can say, wait, I'm feeling this negative emotion towards them. I'm feeling this hate, fear, this anger towards them. So that means that I'm processing things about them in my limbic system. And if I'm processing in my limbic system, that means that I haven't taken the time to truly understand them and to move that from the limbic system to the prefrontal cortex. I thought this was all very interesting um, because a couple of things have come up recently. Um, like there was a conversation I had uh, with Jake over at the Average Intelligence podcast. Go check them out. We just did our second uh, collaborative show. Very awesome. Great conversations with those guys over there. Um, but we were talking about um, the red pill and MGTOW and how when a lot of people get into it, and if you want to know what that is, go over there, check it out. Um, but when a lot of people first get into this, they or people who don't know about it, um, so, well, actually, I'm going to cover both of those. So there's the people who don't know about, really understand MGTOW and Red Pill. And to them, it sound, it's a snake. It, it sounds horrible. It's being processed by their limbic system. And it's like, oh, my God, this is so destructive to society and, you know, all these horrible people over there. And the same thing for people entering into that space. A lot of times they have a lot of anger. And they're very angry at, at first, and it's called, the, it actually has a name, it's called the Red Pill Rage. But then that subsides after a while. <clears throat> and what I see happening there is that people come into this, and it's a lot of information. It's a lot of di different information that people aren't necessarily used to. And so they get this um, immediate frustration because they haven't, they haven't been able to understand it yet. It hasn't moved into their prefrontal cortex fully. It's still an unknown. It's still a scary. So it stays being processed, at least in part, by the limbic system. But once people really understand and accept what's going on, they, they integrate. They, um, again, understand this new information. That rage and that anger go away and it is replaced by this understanding. So again, we move from limbic system to prefrontal cortex. And I, the part I wanna stress here is that when you are feeling these, take a moment and understand that the reason you're feeling the hate, the fear, the anger towards somebody, some other group, some whatever it might be, some situation, is because you don't understand it. And this can sometimes be a hard thing to accept because one of the things that you must do is you must pause and say, wait, I don't understand this. And that's hard to do. I mean, come on, <laughs> we're all geniuses, right? But that's what you wanna do. You wanna take that moment. You wanna say, wait, I'm angry. If I'm angry, that means that I don't understand. If I'm fearful, that means that I don't understand. So I need to take a moment to understand and then I can move myself out of fear and I can open up myself up to more understanding, more uh, information. So that's what I try to remind myself of when I feel these emotions is why am I feeling this? Why, why is this group of people, why is this person that I'm thinking about <clears throat> or encountering why are they being processed through my limbic system? Because if I'm still processing them through my limbic system, then I don't understand them. I'm looking at a, a, a the, I'm looking at a stick on the ground, and sure, it's a snake because I don't understand it. But once I understand it, once I take a moment and I look at it, I realize that it was never a snake. It's always just been a stick. It's just a stick laying on the ground because I understand it. And so give yourself that opportunity. Let yourself say, 
I don't understand this. I'm, I'm angry. I'm, I'm fearful because I don't understand this. And once you give yourself that opportunity, once you give that admission of I, I, why I don't understand it, why am I angry, all of this, give yourself that permission to understand it. Give yourself permission to get out of the hate, the fear, the anger, because these are all things that can be used very easily to control you, to sway your opinion, to um, cause you to go against other people. I mean, it's happened all throughout history where that's what they've done is they've, they've played into people's hate and fear and anger, and they don't want you to understand your opponents because they want you to stay in that limbic system response. Because when you're in that limbic system response, that's when you will commit atrocities against other people. So be careful, get yourself out of that limbic system, get yourself up into the prefrontal cortex, your life will be better and you'll probably be a lot nicer of a person. Have a great day.